Alrighty, new beard as always because I don't do reshoots per se, so don't know why I always bring that up. But hey, we got new beard and it seems to be new from Sada City because I haven't seen it since uh, until until yesterday actually, and it's a uh, it's it's uh, it just should be good. Let's reshoot that. some new beer from Sawdust City, at least new to me. Haven't seen in the LCBO since, well, until yesterday, so we're gonna roll with that and let's just, uh, let's just get to drinking today, shall we? Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mae Brewski from the Rooster Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by the Sada City Brewing Co. out of Gravenhurst, Ontario. Right, Gravenhurst? I'm like 99.99% sure. Yes, Gravenhurst. Perfect. We have their Narnia, spelt differently with a G, but still Narnia Lil IPA. Coming in at 5.5% alcohol is by volume 20. IBU's style is Lil IPA. Hoppy and sessionable. So let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Boom. And we're going to be pouring it into a old fashioned A&W uh, root beer mug because, well, I still haven't cleaned all my glassware. And A&W mugs are pretty cool. There's a little water in here. Get that out of the way. And it's, perf it's a perfect fill volume. Four reviews. So let's pour this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay. Nice. Good stuff. Let's see. Look at that. Perfect, perfect pours. <clears throat> perfect fill heights. Looking at the beer itself, nice and light in color. Light yellow, indeed. Overly hazy. Really do like that. White head on top. Looking real pretty in this uh, in this A and W mug right here. So. Good stuff. Give it a smell. On the nose. Grapefruit, pine indeed. Probably shouldn't have filled it right to the top, but hey, that's, it is what it is. <clears throat> a little bit of citrus, like lemon and orange. Lemon, orange, grapefruit, pine. A little bit of... Mm -hmm. A little hint of pineapple as well in there. Again, probably shouldn't have poured it right to the tippy tippy top, but we'll know that. We'll, 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 uh, well, uh, I'll remember that for going forward, but hey, let's dive in. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a very beautiful flavor. Okay. Okay. Where do we start? Obviously, pine, grapefruit for sure. Ooh, well, it's a pineapple. Again, lemon and orange citrus, more like a zest rather than a juice or a rind per se. Pretty good so far. A little florally as well on the back end. Not too much. It's a nice, nice uh, little balance there for sure. But damn, pretty good stuff. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple. Lemon orange zest, um, and then yeah, moving in just 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 like a light little flowery uh, floral sort of uh, sort of notes in there as well, which is really nice. Really, really a ni nice little change of uh, change of flavor profile indeed. As for body and mouthfeel, even though it looks very hazy and a little thicker, it's not. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's light as far as IPAs go for sure. By far. You know what? A pretty, a pretty refreshing, uh, a pretty refreshing beer. That is, uh, that is not what I was expecting uh, when I picked this one up. I, I'm a big fan of this. Mm -hmm. A little bit of like a, a little light melon, slightly resiny. Also a little bit of cucumber, just like refreshingness um, out of it. Doesn't really per se taste like cucumber, but it reminds you of the refreshment that a cucumber uh, offers. So I really do like that aspect of, of the uh, of the beer. Damn, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Sessionable all day. Again, it is 5.5, so it's not, you can't really be pounding back, you know, a ton of them like you would say, like a session IPA that's uh, like sunny side. I think that's around the, What's that? Three, three, two, 
3.2% three, 3 something like that. So not as sessionable as that, but still uh, not gonna weigh you down. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Let's see what the can has to say. Uh, Narnia, Lil IPA, boom, Sada City. Like all of drab green and yellow and black. Not really a big fan of the color scheme here, but I do get it. Narnia, Narnia, Chronicles of Narnia, you know, all that fun stuff from when you were a kid. So, kind of interesting. On the back, description. This little IPA is perfect for cruising, right, right? Nope, sorry. Perfect for crushing after a long ride on the trails or a slow reflective walk or a slow ref ref refractive? reflective walk in the woods. Using the simple malt body of a hazy IPA and fermented on Escarpment Labs foggy London ale yeast, we've created a flavor that suggests more than the 5.5% ABV you get. Damn straight. Finally, we dry hop Narnia with tons of mosaic and citra hops to give it a big citrus aroma and pack it with all the juicy flavor you can handle. That's from Sam uh, Corbiel or Cor Corbiel. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, Sam. My apologies. The Brewmaster. Contains barley, oats, and wheat. Keep cold, drink fresh. And also you have a little bit of more extra information, which is really nice. We got notes on the style, little IPA, IBU 20, final gravity of 3.5 degrees Play-Doh, four on the SRM or color scale, and also an original gravity of 13.7 degrees Play-Doh. Hops that are used are Citra, Mosaic, and Idaho 7. Brewed and packaged at Sada City Brewing Co., Gravenhurst, Ontario. And this was canned on February 11th, 2020, 2020, what do I say, 2021, holy shit, I'm losing it, guys, I'm losing it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a day, it has been a day indeed, moving on to the website, sodacitybrewing.com, you go to the beer section, you will find uh, Narnia Lil IPA, here you have the exact same description as on the can. Scrolling down, you have ingredients. We have water, which is pure Muskoka water. Barley, barley and malt was two row oat flakes and wheat. Hops, we have Citra, Mosaic, and Idaho 7. And the yeast was Escarpment Labs Foggy London Ale Yeast. For the nerd numbers, again, the same exact on the can. OG of 13.7 degrees Play-Doh. IBUs of 20, 4 SRM, and also a final gravity of 3.5 degrees play-doh storing temp is 3 to 5 celsius serving temp is 4 to 7 you can't cellar it and you should drink it out of an ipa glass so tons of information really do love how they give you uh some nerdy numbers which is really nice and also a detailed list of ingredients solid solid stuff going over to untapped narnia lil ipa has been given a 3.82 bottle caps out of five and that's out of 677 ratings. Mm -hmm. Overall, pretty big fan of this beer. 5.5%, not overly boozy again, but also not too, too low. Uh, but it does drink like a light, uh, like a session IPA, but has the flavors of more of like a regular IPA. So you're kind of getting best of both worlds per se. Solid, solid stuff. Finally, if you're wondering about the price, it's pricey. Not gonna lie, a little pricey. Uh, 395 for the 473 ML tall boy can. Almost $4, that seems a little steep. On the website showing at 350, funny enough, so there is a discrepancy. Let's add it to, uh, to cart real quick if it will allow me, or not. No, oh, it has, okay, my bad. Whoops, how many did I add to my cart? Do not want three. Okay, taxes and shipping not included. Let's check the taxes. Let's see, tax. Okay, yeah, it comes, it comes to be about the exact same uh, cost, 396 if you, um, like with the taxes included, so. There you go, 395, 396, a fairly expensive beer, to be completely honest. So if you're looking to pick up a lot, 
Uh, we do have a price for that as well. Single cans at $3.50 or $3.95 with tax. Four packs starting at $13.54 before tax. And a 2-4 will run you $79.65 before tax. So, a little, little expensive, but it's a stellar beer, so you could swallow it. For sure. you, you, you could swallow that, that sort of price, but hey, solid stuff. Cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get ready to and wrap this thing up. Sawdust City, Narnia, Lil IPA. Pretty damn good indeed. Big fan of it. Big flavor. Not not a huge not a huge ABV, but again, not too low right there in that middle. 5.5. Pretty good stuff. Just solid. Solid. It's crushable. It's flavorful. You get a nice trop, a little, little bit of tropics, a little bit of little, little bit of floral, nice kick of bitterness, and then a little, little, little resiny as well. Beautiful, beautiful stuff indeed. Price is a little high for, for, for me personally, but still a solid, solid beer. Narnia, little IPA gets a solid, hmm, gets a solid 8.6 out of 10 for me. After the presentation, again, not a big, big fan of the really dark, all the drabby green kind of thing going on here. But, you know, it works, it works. Information-wise, though, tons of it. Huge description, style, IBU, final and original gravities, SRMs, detailed list of hops on the can, clearly labeled, packaged on date on the bottom, and on the website, throwing in the detailed list of ingredients, water, barley, hops, yeast, all that fun stuff, throwing in the nerd numbers, and serving and storing temps. Great stuff indeed. Presentation, ooh, presentation gets a solid nine out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Let's pour up the last of this little IPA. And oh my god, it's delicious, so nutritious, and hey, look at that, it fits right in the mug. Cheers.